Hi everyone, GD here. I'm glad you could join me today. Well, I just recently did an updated video on a piece of equipment that I did a review on last year or earlier this year, a used piece of equipment that a friend of mine lent me called the Griffin Diamond Bandsaw. And after replacing the blade on it and the guides, I decided to do an update video on that particular piece of equipment. I did just recently load this video on my other channel, GD Saving the Past. So some of you who are subscribers to both my channels will see the same video again here. But I thought that here on Mother Nature Rocks, it was more of an appropriate video for this channel. So I am loading it here as well. So I hope you enjoy. Leave your comments down below as to what you think. I know back at the beginning of the year, I said, I'm done. I'm retired. I am going to enjoy a little life. Stop doing videos, stop doing work. And I thought I was going to go out and just have a lot of fun. You know, they say that when you retire, sometimes you find out that there's more that needs to be done than when you were actually working for a living. And this year proved that. I spent the entire summer this year from April all the way up until just recently here in August doing a landscaping project in my front yard. Now, I am not a landscaper. I am not a gardener. So I took on this project after watching a lot of videos about it. So instead of playing with little rocks, like I like to do on my other channel, that's Mother Nature Rocks, I um, was working with large boulders and I had to get a young fella that lives near me to come help me move these things because some of them weighed two, three, four hundred pounds in order to move them into place. Well, enough of that. I have finished that work for the year and winter is coming up and I miss you guys. So I was thinking I would come back and maybe do a video from time to time. If you think you enjoy seeing some more of my videos on gold and silver, um, please do leave a comment down below. Um, but what I'm going to do here today is last year on this channel, GD Saving the Past, as well as I believe I did it also on my other channel, uh, Mother Nature Rocks. Um, I did a video, a review of this diamond saw here for cutting uh, gemstones, uh, for sawing gemstones. Now this is a diamond band saw. And if I remember correctly on that particular video, um, I had mentioned that I could see the benefits of using this saw, but I didn't think it worked out for me. But that was mainly because it had a worn out blade. This is a used saw that a friend of mine lent me and has since said, you can have it. And last Christmas, I had mentioned to my son and daughter-in-law that the blade was worn out. And they wound up buying me a new blade last Christmas. And this is the first time I am getting around to testing it because I've been so busy this year doing my other project. So I thought what I would do is do a new test on this saw and let any of you, because that video that I did last year seems to be a pretty popular video here on my GD Saving the Past. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another update here on this saw. I'm going to do a couple of very basic cuts to find out how well this new blade is working and if I think there's an improvement on this saw. And I am probably going to load this video on both of my channels. So some of you I know are subscribed to both my channels. So be aware that this video is probably going to show up on both of them. So let me get this set up. I can see the battery on my camera is starting to die since I haven't used it in a long time. So I'm going to get the battery recharged. I'm going to come down here and um, I'm going to do a couple of simple cuts. I've got this piece of turquoise here. It's a green and, and turquoise color stone. This one here needed some 
filler on the back, which I did. And I am just going to do a simple cut here on this, on this one. I have a number of stones here that I'm going to be cutting. But as I said, I am just going to do a couple simple cuts. This one here has a big fracture line going across here that goes in on an angle. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to just see how the saw does on cutting that across there. Now, a saw like this, even though that's a diamond-tipped saw, it takes a long time to cut through something like this. And most people would use a regular um, gem saw on something like this. But since I'm testing it, and I may not go all the way through um, for this video, I thought I would just test it on a little harder material like this. So, let me get this battery recharged, and I will get going on this project. Okay, to see got how the it battery works. charged and ready to get this test going. I think we're going to start off here with this piece of turquoise here. And uh, we're just going to do a straight cut across here because... Uh, that shape there, I really didn't want to uh, use it that way, so I'm just going to cut this off here. I would imagine for this it's going to go very quickly. And I hope you guys can see what I'm doing there. Since turquoise is a fairly soft stone, that went pretty quickly. I'm kind of happy with that. Now, I don't know that I'm going to go through this whole piece because that might take a while. But we'll see what happens. I might uh, cut this straight line here. I have three pieces on here that eventually I'm going to want to cut out of here. But I want to get rid of this fracture line first. So that's what I'm going to work on. Now. My eyesight is not really good, and I don't have a lot of light here, so I'm not sure how straight of a cut I'm going to get there. Well, that went fairly quick for a hard stone. Um, I got a little off track there with it. I'm having a hard time seeing. I don't have enough light on here. Um, but it did give me a cut. So let me shut the machine off and let me discuss a few things with you. Um, the first test I did with this machine, I was not really that impressed with it, but I am impressed with it now with a new blade on it and the blade's been adjusted so it didn't slip out of the guides. New guides were put on this machine so I got a wonderful cut out of these. Now most uh, lapidaries would use a circular gem saw for cutting stuff like this. Um, this saw is really intended for doing um, you know what a bandsaw would do. Now, I was a little impatient while I was waiting for the battery to charge, so I did cut. Now, again, I'm having a hard time seeing in there what would really improve this, and I've got lights all around this machine, but I've got old, poor eyesight. Um, what would really improve this machine is some kind of a light that is extremely close, but I would be concerned with that because electric and water but um, I will work on that for something future. But I did cut out um, a couple of pieces here the best I possibly could. And I would say that um, if I had had better light or if I had marked this with something other than a pencil, um, which made it very difficult for me to see the mark, if I had used a magic marker, a perma marker, I probably would have seen what I was trying to cut a lot easier. Um, but it did cut 
the way a um, w the way a band show should do. But again, I was impatient while I was waiting, so I did cut a few other things. This was a tumbled stone that um, I had that I just thought I wanted to see what was inside. So I cut that in half, and um, I think that's going to make a couple of really pretty stones. I cut off this top part, and then um, since I didn't get an extremely even cut, I started using the edge of the blade to take a little bit more off, and that seemed to have worked really well. And again, I was impatient waiting for the battery. So I had another piece of low-grade um, treated turquoise here, and I decided to cut that in half. And all these worked well. Now again, you know, um, when you're doing straight cuts like this, a lot of people would just use a regular circular um, jeweler saw, but this will work just fine for doing straight cuts and uh, for somebody with better eyes and maybe a better marking, I think uh, the bandsaw of it would work really well. So in this updated video of testing this Griffin bandsaw, and I am getting nothing from Griffin. This is an old used saw um, that a friend of mine gave to me. So I'm just testing it so that you folks know uh, whether it might be something you want to look into or not. These, I understand, are often used by glass cutters, uh, which makes sense to me, um, but it is obviously very adaptable to using on um, gemstones. So my opinion of it after replacing the guides, replacing the blade, and getting that blade adjusted so it didn't slide out of the guides is very positive, and I look forward to using this for other cuts uh, during the winter time um, because I intend to go back and cut some stones when I can't be doing anything outside. So I just wanted to share that with you folks. I am so happy to be um, doing a video again. It's been a long time and I miss uh, doing this. I'm not coming back regularly, but I will throw up a video from time to time if you folks are interested in um, hearing from me again. Um, you know, on the GD Saving the Past channel, which is where I'm going to be loading this video first. Um, you know, I normally do gold and silver and coins and vintage jewelry. Um, and if you're interested in seeing me do more of that in the future, please do leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from some of you. Okay, folks, until next time, I hope you're all doing well out there. Have a great day. This is GD saying goodbye.